Welcome to Brent's Anime Recommendation Corner, where I recommend an anime that I love, and today I'm talking about Someday's Dreamers. No, you've never heard of this show. Neither has anyone else. This is Kiki's Delivery Service, the TV show, but with a high schooler. Uh, the main character is a high school girl who has manifested magical powers. Uh, and in her world, in the modern world, uh, magic powers are a thing that exists. People know people who have these powers. Um, and so it is heavily regulated because, oh my gosh, magic powers can like change the fabric of reality. In fact, when she uh, comes to Tokyo for the first time, um, she gets freaked out and causes a bunch of uh, cars in the street to levitate so that they won't hit her. Um, that's not good. That's really, really not good. Um, so to give you an idea, in order to use magic in this world, you have to submit paperwork to a central authority and they have to approve your use of magic before you can actually like cast the spell. Mm -hmm. um, but more importantly and more centrally, um, this is about coming to a place you're not used to uh, and trying to fit in. Um, you may hear is, and there's, there's a great moment in this that I'm, I'm going to uh, well, Yume is from the country. She is she's lived all of her life in a very rural environment, think non non Biori, and now she's come to the big city for the first time. And not she. So the idea in in this world is, as soon as you start manifesting magical powers, you are required to apprentice with a senior witch to learn how to use your powers and control your powers. So she has been sent into Tokyo to apprentice with um, somebody. Um, and she's experiencing this. And you can see as I'm fasting, forwarding through this, one of the interesting things about the show is how much it shows this is what Tokyo is like. Like, here are countertops. Here's all the stuff laid out. It's this very sort of busy environment, which would be very foreign to a country girl. Um, and so she eventually makes her way to the, the place where she meets a shirtless guy. Um, uh, and then she finally... Um, uh, meets her uh, her senior witch, who is also a shirtless guy, um, and uh, but this being early two thousands anime, um, nothing ever happens, um, and also like she's his apprentice, no, um, but he starts kind of teaching her um, magic and. The idea is, because everyone know, knows magic exists, people keep coming to witches and asking for them to do things for them. Things like, um, <clears throat> my wife passed away. I would like to speak to her one last time. They can do that. Um, you know, um, I had this sports injury, and it derailed my sports career. And I can't, like, you know, use that arm the same way I, I, I had. Can you fix that for me? All of these things, which are these interesting ethical questions, which the, 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 the witches, they're all called witches in this, have to think about. They don't have to do it. They, they can refuse. So this becomes slightly Twilight Zone-esque, where every episode has some interesting question around, okay, here's this power, or here's this request, Here's what we could do. Whether we do it or not, you know, whether they end up doing it or not, what was the right choice to make? Um, and and uh, uh, what is, is the right thing there to do when you can literally make people's dreams come true? Um, um, you also have the advantage of, we'll see if we can find her. Um, uh, let's see here. Um, skipping through, yeah, various. Yeah, she in here. She's basically um, um, going through training about various uh, problems. So let's say a fire breaks out. What do you do? Right, you're a witch. You could just stuff, stuff the fire out right now. You could levitate everyone out of the building right now. Do you do that? Right, like all these interesting things. Um, uh, so yeah, uh, it's a really interesting show. It is, again, it's called Someday's Dreamers. Um, it's quite all right. Um, and I personally love it. It is made in the early 2000s. Budget is low, animation-wise. <laughs>
Um, it works. It's fine. But this is not a powerhouse of animation quality. Um, but I, fit, I found it was a really interesting exploration of the topic. Uh, just kind of a fun one. And again, one that nobody's ever seen. It. So if you're looking for something a little bit obscure, a little off the beaten path, and just generally um, a overall sweet show with some slightly more serious sort of undertones, um, you will definitely get that there. And uh, oh, the other thing I should mention is that we'll see if we get it later on. Um, if we see the other, yeah, she also flashes back a lot to her, her earlier days, her early sort of childhood days with a friend. Um, uh, no, I don't think we see, oh yeah, there we go. Um, one of the cuter anime girls ever, uh, there in, in the, in the lower left. Um, but later on, the witch gets, uh, her senior witch gets another apprentice who is a city girl, who is very fashionable, who is very trendy. And so now, not only is the main character dealing with trying to you know, explore her powers, she's now the country girl next to the city girl, and dealing with all of those sort of, of questions and issues and so forth. So again, show I just really enjoyed, um, and I hope you will enjoy it too.